right, hey guys. So when I uploaded all my film today, I realized that there was no audio, which is fine. So here I am, a day later, trying to film this. Now I'm being awkward, and it's fine. So anyways, welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up? How are ya? <laughs> also, look at this, like, br I got like a hickey on my face from my poor vacuum. What? What? Anyways, so I watched The Grinch the other day with my friends and I got the inspiration to do like a beautiful Grinch look because you always see like an ugly Grinch look. And I just think that The Grinch is like a beautiful like story, right? Does anyone else think that? I cried during the movie and everyone made fun of me, so it's fine. Here I am, you know? Anyways, so if you want to see how I became a beautiful Grinch, then keep on watching. I also need to review the Grinch okay so first obviously I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, moisturizer just to moisturize my entire face because it's winter time and uh, your girl has some chapped cheeks currently from the wind <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with my tarp shape tape concealer in the lightest shade I'm, I'm going in with it first because it's too light for my face like way too light so I'm gonna use it for some full coverage and then I'm going to bounce it out with my beauty blender. So next I'm going in with the, with the Tarte shape, ta shape Tape Foundation. I think it's in light medium sand. Um, I'll have it linked down below for sure. And then I'm going to just go ahead and blend that all out with a beauty blender as well um, I'm just using tapping motions again like usual so that I don't like swipe the product away but I'm just pushing it into my skin more so you know nothing new there man <laughs> lol there's Megan <laughs> just trying to be a cute <laughs> Next, I'm going to bake with my Essence Banana Powder. Um, it's a loose powder, and I got this recently, and I really like it. It doesn't leave any sort of flashback or anything, but I'm just going to bounce that onto my skin under my eyes. Um, since I'm going to be putting other products on my face, there's no point in me really like baking the whole thing. Next, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline um, Powder Foundation, and I'm going. it's in shade 220, I believe. I will have it linked down below for sure. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with that on a Morphe brush. Um, the exact one will be linked down below also. And next, I'm going to like sculpt out my cheekbone a little bit with the NARS Bronzer in Laguna. Um, I'm using this Morphe like contouring brush from their bamboo collection. I don't actually know if it has a number. I will link it down below if it does. Next, I'm going to sweep away the powder under my eyes with just a big fluffy brush from Morphe. And then I'm going to contour my nose with this brush from Morphe in the same NARS um, bronzer. Okay, so then I just put some chapstick on because, like, it's wintertime and your girl's lips are chapped. So, yeah. It's the peppermint one by Chapstick. It's my favorite. I then set my face with some setting spray. It's the Mario Badescu, like, cucumber one. And then I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution palette in, like, the peach shade. And I'm just going to dust that across my lid. And then I'm going in with this light green shade. And I'm just sweeping that into my um, crease and just blending it out. Just keep on blending. <laughs> I'm then going in with the darker green shade and I'm just going to define the outer edge of my crease a little bit more with that. 
so that it kind of intensifies the look and gives it a really grinchy feel. <laughs> I hate myself. And then I'm taking a little packer brush by Morphe and I'm going in with the darkest green shade that was in that Makeup Revolution palette and I'm literally just packing it onto the corner of my lid. And then I'm going in and kind of blending a little bit. Um, I've been dipping into my palette like four or five times while I've been doing this so that I like really can pack up on the pack on the product there. Um, I'm not really blending it out yet. I'll go back in with a lighter shade and then blend it out with that. Now you can see me going back in. I think it was with the light like peach shade and a little bit of the lightest green shade in the palette to um, just like kind of blend it all out a little bit better. I then took the lightest green shade and I swept it across the rest of my lid, kind of blending it together with that so it doesn't have like a harsh line. I then took my makeup sponge and I then on my finger I put a little bit of Sigil Perk from the Too Faced um, Eggnog Latte palette and just packed that on top of the dark green shade and then I took the like iridescent green color in the palette, sprayed it with some Mac Fix Plus and put it on the inner part of my eye, and, like the main part of my eyelid. I then lined my eyelid with um, this white liner from Ulta just as like a base for like the liquid liner that I'm putting on top of it so I kind of knew where to put it. I then took the red liner from that Grinch by Pure um, Cosmetics Heartline collab and I like did like candy cane kind of stripes on my eye and then I took like a red like straight line to wing it out. I will say that this liner is really good for wings because it's like really thin so you can get like a good wing with it. Um, I then went back in with the white like glittery liner from them and I like put it in between so that it looked like a candy cane because like that's Christmasy you know. Okay, I then took this like medium green shade and a little bit of the light green shade and I put it on um, a Morphe, like, it's like a blush brush and like I packed it all over my cheeks and up onto my forehead. I know I look a little crazy, but like it'll get better, I promise. <laughs> Okay, and then I took this green um, NYX lip liner and I like filled my eyebrows in with it a little bit and I did it super roughly because if you look at the Grinch in the movie, his hair is like really scraggly and so are his eyebrows. I pay paid very close attention whenever I was watching and so I tried to kind of mimic that and then I took the green Grinch liner in shade Grinch that's glittery and I put it on top of that to make it a little sparkly. I then took the liner, okay, and I just like put it on my face and like quickly like blotted it out so that it was just like kind of green shimmery on my cheek. I don't really know where I got this idea. I just kind of did it. Anyways, and I tried to not make it blend in with the like lines that I did on my eyebrow. I tried to make it a little bit like stand out so that it didn't blend together. I then took the white one and I drew like swirls because like the wind is always howling and it's like snowy so I kind of just, I don't know, just swirled it on my face and I had to layer it a few times because this white like gets a little thin but like it turned out kind of cool I think. Okay I then took this NYX like gold um, eyeliner and I lined my like lower lash line with it and then I took like the coppery shade in the Makeup Revolution palette that I used and I like blotted it on top of that. The eyeliner was really good for like helping it stick on there. I then glued these flirty lashes by Kiss on my eyes and I um, blended them in with the Maneater mascara from Tarte. 
took that same green lip pencil and I filled my lips with in with it totally because I didn't want to buy a green lipstick sorry and then I put a chapstick on top of it to like help like smooth it out a little bit and I thought it turned out pretty cool <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it um stay tuned and I'm gonna like review the pure cosmetics times the Grinch um liners for you guys So I tried to review this again whenever I was, you know, filming, but my camera didn't work. So here I am on my phone doing it again. So I used a lot of these eyeliners in my video in there, like the Pure Times Grinch, Dr. Seuss the Grinch. And they have a little Grinchy guy on the packaging and it's four eyeliners. Um, it's Heartline four piece liquid eyeliner set. Um, there's a green, a white, a, oh, they have to, I didn't even notice they had names. Um, a red and a black. The green's called Grinchy. Duh. The white's called Great. I don't really get that. Anyways, the red's called <laughs> Heart Three Times. Um, oh, that's cute because, like, you know, it's heart. And the black's called Mean. So it's $28, but it says it's a $76 value. So I'm going to be totally honest with you. I like, I like the eyeliners for this look. But I used the black eyeliner today whenever I did my makeup, and it was very patchy. Um, so, like, it was really, like, they, they like, work really well because you can blend them out. But I, and, like, they stayed on all day. Don't get me wrong. Like, the black. It's just not as full coverage, I guess, as I'm used to using. Or I, I don't know. You have to layer it, definitely. But they are great eyeliners. I liked them. Anyway, so this is what they look like. Oh, um, and this is what it looks like. It's really cute. The applicator is tiny, which I like. And the white one's glittery and so is the green one. They're kind of like opaque because they're glittery, which I guess is like, I don't know, it's kind of to be expected because the glitter's a little chunk. It's not chunky. It dries down nicely, I guess. But I definitely would layer this up. So like in the video, I did um, like a white, um, the NYX white eyeliner on, or was it Ulta? The Ulta brand white eyeliner on first and then I put this liquid one over it. So it's like a pencil with a, the liquid over it and I really liked it. I like how it turned out. So yeah, see, it lays up really well. Great, okay. Shade, again, same type of packaging, but the outside's red, still says Grinch. Very cute, same tiny little applicator. The red was definitely my favorite. The red and the green, I really liked the green one, surprisingly, too. Um, uh, I put this one also over the white, like, stick eyeliner that I put on, or pencil eyeliner that I put on, and I liked it. But you could also definitely like double layer it and it would be cute also. Green one's also glittery. This is Grinchy. The green one's really pretty. And like in the video, you'll see I like took a little bit of it and I put it on top of like some green um, eyeshadow. And then I like smudged it out to get like a green glittery effect on my hand, which I liked a lot black the black's my least favorite out of all of these colors mean one. Oh, you're a mean one mr grinch i get it i get the name now so i'm gonna just in do this quickly okay it looks way pretty on camera i'm not saying it's a bad eyeliner it's just not my it's not my go-to for sure that's seven dollars an uh, eyeliner and and seven dollars an eyeliner that's a good value. So yeah, I liked it. It was cute and I got it mainly because like it was Grinch theme and it's a Grinch look. So I felt like it was a good little thing. Also like Forever 21 also has like a Grinch line out right now. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some Grinch clothes. And then I was like, no, definitely not gonna do that. So yeah, um, that was it. If you wanna see more looks like that, then please like leave me a comment down below or like, I don't know, let me know. I have all the products linked. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to post more. Probably more like, I don't know, not as much makeup. Like, probably some makeup too, obviously, but like, some like vlogs and maybe some fashion. I don't know. I'm not a fashion expert, but like, you never know. Just my laugh. So, yeah. What are you doing? Filming vlogs internally.
She's, she wants to be on my vlogs with me. Just kidding. We're going to do vlogs together because we love each other. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments of any other looks you want to see. I will try and post more like once or twice a week. I don't know. I took a year break, obviously. We should probably address that at some point. <laughs> my life's a mess, man. That's relatable. Anyways, have a good day. Bye.